thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is this app whether it is a good documentation app for Flutter or any type of developers but I want to give you a little bit of context as a developer who is learning a new language or framework I sometimes come across a stack overflow that really answers my question or doubts. However, having a bunch of bookmarks littered in my web browser doesn't do any good. And I also want to write my own definition and learnings in a central place. So I used to use GitHub as a place for my learnings. For example, I had a 100 days of code challenge diary of learning Python. And writing in an IDE like Visual Studio Code in Markdown ain't exactly the best experience for your document or diary. A better experience is something like how Medium does it. It is a pleasant experience if you were to write in Medium. And it is a similar experience in Notion. And this is what this video is about. I believe that Notion is a very good tool for developers, whether solo or in a team. First, for many of you, as I said earlier, I believe you are learning a new language like Fortran or Ruby or Dart, or a new framework like Mint or Flutter. And there are solutions that you have created that you might think will be useful in the future. Therefore, you need a simple database or documentation place to do that. Well, Notion has that covered. This video is not sponsored by Notion. Let's move on. It supports toggling for your massive code blog and it supports code, which is really great, which includes Dart. However, the best thing is that so it supports search like a normal IDE supports and this search is able to search through a specific text that you have for example, render show menu and this is a code block that I have gotten down inside my Notion which is fantastic. If I were to compare with GitHub, GitHub is a static page website. The search there, it's very awful, I would say, because you aren't able to search a specific line of documentation. However, I believe that GitHub purpose is not to have very good or very, very well documentation features. That is not the purpose of GitHub as it is just where you host your projects which it does fantastically. Second, this applies to both solo and team developers. When you are creating an app, you probably have a lot of tasks. Tasks. And the most common way to organize your to-dos or tasks is using a Kanban board. For example, like this. The most common Kanban board app is either Trello for individuals or Jira for professional teams. GitHub and Notion has their own version of Kanban board. Notion Kanban board can be very extensive. While you click, for example, on a task, you can have a description and the screenshots and your different to-dos. While GitHub Kanban board is integrated with the issues board, which is helpful to prioritize. For example, you can create your own projects and you can add in your different GitHub issues that people like yourself or other open source contributors. So inside your projects board, you could see there are different issues that have been linked from the issue board over here. So that's one very good feature 
for open source projects. While having Notion Kanban board is good, I think it is better for non-tech people. For example, marketing and designers. Third, I think Notion solves a pain point of onboarding. Onboarding documentations can get really messy and Notion really helps to do that. Notion allows you to create a wiki for your development. So for example, you have this getting started, which is very, very good for new developers to be onboarded. This is due to the nature that Notion is not built with markdown feature. I would say you will not get familiarized with Notion at the start, but as a beginner, it is easier to learn how to format with a mouse and a menu than learning to use markdown. So people who are non-tech people like designers, marketing, and sales are able to use this platform well. So in summary, this tool is really good for startups. And this will help even your founders to see your work and documentation and helps with new people who just joined your company. So I will show a wiki that I've created. So I had an idea that is called Malinks, which is just a link tree clone. And you could see that the start page is this control room. So I have my different pages for my different compartments of this team. So you have like the design team where you have like a mood board or there is a simple introduction. So we are using Adobe XD. If you were to hover on the left, you could see there is a mini menu. And the most important thing is this engineering wiki. This is how I create my development wiki. So you have like your getting started and your code base and your infrastructure and your tools. So when someone new comes in, they know exactly what is like the overview of the overall tech that a company is using. So you could see that in web, we are using Svelte and for mobile, we are using Flutter. And then for our infrastructure or our database, we are using Firebase service and for our tools, because it's good that we have a common tool, but I'm not imposing anything. You will probably have Visual Studio Code. And for Git management, you can use Git Kraken. So all of this is a very good overview on a new person joining the team. Then I will onboard them on the guides and processes that we do in the team as well. So this will really help instead of just using Google Slides or even Google Docs to onboard. This is a really good, you could say, FNQ, Wiki or whatever for them to refer to. For GitHub, there is a Wiki feature or you could say a Wiki tab. I would say this feature gets the job done, but you have to learn Markdown, which I think most developers are aware of, which makes the learning curve a little bit harder than learning Notion as a beginner. So on the left, you could see the content and the, on the right, you could see there are the different tabs and pages you can go to. So for example, if you want to roll Dart, then you can just go over here. So it's very simple. GitHub Wiki, it's pretty good if you don't want to have another place for your documentation. So for an open source project, Wiki inside GitHub, it's good enough. So lastly, Notion creates a better README. So README in Markdown, I feel is a pain, especially when you do it on GitHub itself, which I do, yikes. So for example, you have a README over here. And if you want to change this README, you will probably have to do it in Markdown and you need to preview the changes. So it will be good that I can see my preview when I edit my file but this is just how developers work. So they will just create a readme inside Markdown. However, if you were to do in Notion, it is as close to writing an article in Medium. So you see the images and you'll see the different tags and it will show you what you input rather than going through a compiler, like clicking on preview changes, which really is not a good user experience. 
So you can definitely view what you have typed in inside your IDE. You can probably write down the readme.md in Markdown and you can see it preview. However, I feel that your IDE, in my opinion, is very good at writing code rather than documenting in your readme. Maybe I'm not a full-fledged uh, software developer. So that's it. Overall, I would recommend you to learn Notion for at least one month because when you're learning Notion, it is like learning a new programming language or I would like to say a new Markdown language. You may go all out by learning all the shortcuts. You can get as close to the experience that you have in your IDE or you can just learn the necessary shortcuts that's most popular that requires you to create a very simple page like for example like this or documentations. There are always pros and cons on tools like GitHub and Notion, so choose accordingly. Personally, I use Notion in terms of software development, mostly on having a central knowledge bank or a wiki when creating an app for myself or in a team. Then, GitHub is where the moving parts are. The issues, the projects and the project board, and one more thing I would say is Notion is a very good tool to get an overview of what is happening. So that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more productivity apps that help you in your software development, subscribe down below and comment down on any productivity apps that I have missed out. And it helps on your software development. So stay safe and all the best. Bye. Bye. <laughs>